finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. I'm not taking them all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing in any. That's what friends are for. Listen. Don't laugh, uh, but... Been seeing some weird shit around town. Like... murals or something. But I know they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No, no. The images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. <sighs> Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. It's all weird image out on the street. Uh, seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? I grabbed a scan. Take a look. Taro. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. You know, it'd be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right. Great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand, from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road, so go down it. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. I don't know. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Their bodies, they never age! But notice their eyes! Cold and dead. Their corporation there exists is... only as uh, cover for their Donald? wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead. V this time. Disappointed. Fuck. Sorry. He rests Don't really get how that show of yours works. Something particular up, Kerry? A job of a kind that seems ideal for you. Corner of Gray and Malagra. Early morning. We'll talk. Cool. Now that you mention it, Hanako is eight decades deep. It still looks like a million eddies. The evidence is clear! An old woman with the face of a child prowls your city! Well, okay, let's reel back on the hyperbole. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri! It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn! Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets! They gonna find you! Let them! The seed has been sown! The truth shall sprout roots and lift us! from the invaders' clutches.
You said you were looking for work. You say so. I'm here for my fight. Yeah, that's me. Toughest hijo de puta in the Glen. Mm-hmm. And the worst father in Night City. Michaela, baby! I know what I'm doing. You gotta I'm not trust talking me. To you. First you spent a fortune on Chrome, and now Ugh. I give up. Beat some sense into him for me, okay? He needs a good lesson. Michaela! Michaela, wait for fuck's sake! Listen, I need a lot of scratch and fast. That's why I'm only taking serious wagers. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. All right, let's talk. What's the car? A real gem, a tuned up 2056 classic, but with only 20,000 miles on her. No dings, no patch jobs. Uh huh. And stolen? No, 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 none of that. She's legit. I give you my word. Listen. You don't like the deal? Don't take it. Just don't drag this out. Time is money, and I'm running out of both.
coordinates of a vehicle that went dark near to where you are now. Thanks, I'll try to find it and reset. Those are a problem, I'm sure. But it's time to go home. Delamain's asking for you. Back down now as they stand screaming. No, impossible. Leave it to me. I'll silence it. So, a slaughter. Very well, Judgment Day has come. Swift, severe, deeper. Stop screaming. Perhaps I ought to return after all. I need support. Only one with chaos within can give birth to a dancing star. Clarice? Shut down. better. And you, Dell? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is good. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face to face, so to speak. Suspicious. Dude responsible is heavily ironed. <sighs> Gotta go. Back to our chat. V, a nasty scrap broke out at a construction site. Dude responsible is heavily ironed. He'd be a great candidate for psycho study if you end this thing with him alive. Sending you the details.
you've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. I felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes. Well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. New Thanks. Day? Pleasure to work with Not you. Likewise. I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on gray matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? The term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture, the structure of life and death here. In my opinion, it is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage, the ability to evolve quickly. Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs out? Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Straight to the matter at hand, huh? I mean, I guess we could chat up the weather or debate where they serve the best ramen. All the same to me, but... <laughs> Fair enough. Business it is. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Rhine a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber-psycho attack. Claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate lingering death.
Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? <clears throat> and this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Will cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. left literally seconds before the attack and it looks planned like it was done on purpose that or the psycho saw his chance and took it don't get paranoid on me hold it stop right there Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Cream, do it after the conference. <laughs> Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. 
right as he went through the gate. No, glitch is no accident. No, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? No, but it could have. Well, well, well. <laughs> See anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Is everything all right? Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy, and his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle, the NCPD. No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Name's V. 
Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging, got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. Hey, Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? Actually, thought I'd never hear from you again after the Myko sitch. I rewatched the scroll from that day. You had no choice. But I ain't calling to rehash old wounds. Got a favor to ask. Got another job for me? Someone you need. You know, taken care of. Ooh, I know that voice, V. Are, are you okay? Is it your, uh, uninvited guest? Things gotten worse. Think I'm more or less stabilized. I'm weird getting used to each other. Gotta hand it to you. Would've lost my shit, what? Pff, ten minutes in, maybe. Well, bet I got just the thing to take your mind off it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Uh, sure, what about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. <laughs> I almost fell At over. Sundown. Sounds like a plan. See you there. Bye bye Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Hahn. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. Now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner? Wouldn't want to be over her. Okay. Talk. Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, too. What was it? You know what? Hong was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure.
Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters. Hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? But no, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. Christine Markov, know her? Has a stall here. Don't know any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. Christine Markov. And Christine Markov. No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tent over on the other side. Christine Markov. No, she's over there. Stall with the tent. Thanks. Okay, you gotta go, you gotta go. You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Peter Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. And then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. These, uh, speeches, 
What did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan? A Madame President, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was the son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. So Horvath had a personal beef with Ryan. We might have guessed as much. It might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel Watch makes it. sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. It means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Right. Let me handle this. Baby. Step aside, love. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, chill, please. <laughs> Jump, clown! Jump! What the fuck?! God damn it, me. Told you I'd handle it. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? <sighs> Gotta report this. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I. We'll meet there. Taking it in? Circumstances. 
Well, hey. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. All right. Wait here, then. You looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Got one question to ask you. <clears throat> Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. We can, actually, and we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. I don't know! So fucking remember. And make it quick. All right. Jesus. Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of you. Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Sure, thanks. Monry. Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies. Don't expose your throat. Ha ah, fucking ha. Huh. We're short of warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me.
You fuck off. Say again, punk. You fuck off. Can spell it if you want me to. Smart ass little prick. Now you're cooked. You up. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Looks like an office, sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all.
Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. Uh, a club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. Think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. Still hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Hey, don't drag me into this. I don't do politics or NCPD inner squabbles. Yeah, so what do you do? Let me guess. Whatever brings in the ads, huh? It's typical. Well, I'm not surprised. But I'm not judging either. Looking for a path and place in this damn city. All of us. I don't know fuck all about me. Don't even try and guess what I'm about. Didn't mean no offense. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. It wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> so, what now? Don't let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. 
Only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. <laughs> 